Hey, this is Aaron. Um, so I have good news and I have bad news. We, I'll start with the good news. Um, first of all, I came out to my little brother, and he was awesome about it. So that's really, really cool, because um, I was worried about it for sure. Um, he, I just told him, you know, look, man, I have something kind of awkward to tell you. Um, you know, I said that I felt like I had been born in the wrong body, that I wasn't supposed to be born a girl. And uh, he was basically like, yeah. <laughs> he did not seem surprised at all uh, to hear that. So, you know, I told him that it would be like if he woke up one day with his brain, but in a girl's body. And that that's how I feel every day. Like, you know, what the hell. <laughs> so... And he said that it was weird to hear, but that it made sense. Um, so he was pretty cool with the idea of me transitioning. And uh, I told him about the name and everything. He was cool with it. And um, he said that he uh, was excited to have an older brother. So that was really cool. So I was pretty stoked about that. Um, and since I was able to come out to him, I was then able to come out on Facebook uh, and to everybody else that I know, basically. So uh, I wrote a note on Facebook. Um, maybe I'll read it at some point in another video or something. But basically just saying, you know, I the same thing. Like I've always felt like I'm in the wrong body. Now I've figured out what the right body is. And I'm planning to, you know, medically transition from female to male. You know, please call me Aaron and he. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, I tagged the people that I'm close to. Uh, I'm just kind of letting anybody else read it if they ended up reading it. Um, so, what? It's on no other. Um, sorry. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, so yeah, so I've been going by Aaron with everybody that I know, and that's been that's been awesome. Excuse my language. That's been really awesome. Um, and my mom is coming around in her own way. She wrote me kind of. She like wrote me a letter. Um, and she's going through a lot of a lot of emotions right now, so it's understandable. She feels like she's mourning the loss of her daughter. And it, I can't control if that's how she chooses to deal with it or how she sees it. You know, maybe that is how she has to deal with it. And I just hope that she can come around to embracing having a son. And But she did say that she, you know, would always love me as her child no matter what. And, you know, that she's just going to need some time to deal with a lot of things. And it's going to take a lot for her to get used. So that's understandable. Um, so overall, that's cool. Um, so I've been binding at work every day, and I've been essentially um, passing or at least attempting to pass. I think I confused more than I pass. But, um, but yeah, in public and around friends and at work and all of that um, for quite some time now, for like four or five months. And I cut my hair, as you can see, which is cool. It's actually getting a little long now, but. Um, and so the final step, basically, for me was to come out at work. And I was thinking of doing that, um, like, in the next week or two. <clears throat> and that did not happen because I was fired yesterday. Um, I was, I think, mean, me and my boss had some um, personality issues to begin with. We clashed a lot. And, I mean, not without really meaning to. It just kind of was the way it happened, I guess. I don't want to speculate on whether my appearance had anything to do with that. Um, I really, I don't know. I mean, it seems like as my appearance got more masculine, it got a little more awkward and kind of uncomfortable with her. But it could have just been like that regardless of what I looked like. So I really don't know. Um, and I don't really want to think about it too much, to be honest. But 
that brings me to my biggest issues right now. One being that that was my health insurance, um, as well as Alex's health insurance, my partner. Um, and we both have enough health issues that we need to tend to as it is. On top of the fact that we were both just about to go start seeing a therapist. Um, and, you know, I, I really wanted to be on T by July, which is my 22nd birthday. Um, and unless I get a job fast with health benefits, that is not going to happen. <clears throat> um, or at least get a job. I mean, if I have to pay out of pocket for it or get, like, state health insurance, I will. But I need to get a job regardless in order to do that um, if I want to be on T by July. And that brings me to the second problem, which is that I'm really worried about finding a job now. Um, I'm in basically like the really early stages of transition. Um, you know, it's bad enough having to use my birth name, but I feel like I'm going to have to play this, you know, put on this girl mask in order to get a job. Um, I'm. I was watching some videos of other guys who have been in my position, and I, I feel like that's kind of the consensus is just to play their game. And that's really against my nature, and I really feel uncomfortable with doing it for a lot of reasons, personal reasons and political reasons and just a lot of things. But I feel like I'm not going to have a choice if I want to get a job, which is crap. Um, but I don't know. I mean... At the same time, maybe if I get a, I'm, I'm looking for work in call centers and stuff, maybe they don't care as much about the appearance thing, who knows. But, um, yeah, that whole wearing the girl hat to get a job thing really makes me uncomfortable. So, I don't know how that's going to work out, but, <clears throat> so yeah, if anybody has advice for me on that, please feel free to let me know. But, uh, what else? As far as life goes right now, Alec and I are doing great. Um, probably going to make another video with him to, you know, introduce him and talk about us and how his, uh, some of the terms with everything is going. So that would be cool. And um, let's see. I've been thinking lately about, I used to be in a Rocky Horror Picture Show shadow cast. Um, I played Brad in pretty often for a while. Uh, I haven't done it in a couple of years due to various, obviously, figuring things out and dysphoria stuff. Um, but now I feel like I, I'm think, I've been thinking about getting back into it, and I feel like if, now that I'm unemployed, I need a hobby. Um, so I feel like getting you know distract, some distraction, something to focus my, my mind on for a while, a little bit of an outlet would be a good thing for me right now. <clears throat> so, if I can figure out a way, like maybe some kind of skin-colored tank top over my binder or something that can work for the costume purposes that I can perform again, that'd be cool. Um, so, I think that might be good for me right now. I think I'm going to try and do that, like, maybe next month or the month after. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> um, what else? I guess that's really it. I'm going to the uh, support group at the New Jersey Pride Center um, tomorrow. Wait, Sunday, uh, the day after tomorrow. I'm all messed up now because I'm not going to work today. Um, the day after tomorrow, Sunday, um, when I come back from Rocky and after I wake up, um, there's a support group that I go to or that I started going to last month. Um, so that'll be cool. I'll be able to maybe get some advice on the work thing um, and just, yeah, see how that goes. But I'm just about out of time, and uh, I'm going to make another video with Alex to talk more about this lifey thing. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's it. Um, peace out.